I don't know if I told you guys about this, but I have a wheel. No, it's not broken, but um, it's, uh, well, it's, it's pretty heavy. So I, I have to put my literal chest, just to give it some counterweight, but it's currently, you know, indisposed at the moment. But you know what? Oh, well. Hey, guys. Um, I hope everybody is doing well on this fine Saturday or Sunday or whatever day this is. Oh, man. I'm fixing to go to bed, but um, in case you guys didn't know, um, I am doing iRacing now. Uh, I'm officially doing iRacing. I was just streaming it earlier today, um, and I'm, I'm feeling very, very confident about iRacing. Um, uh, Streaming-wise, it's doing very, very good, especially, you know, wireless. Um... You know, I, I keep getting told that, you know, I ought to do it wired, but, you know, I I would much prefer to be comfortable than, you know, to do whatever. So I placed my laptop, I would place that table, basically, right in front of where I would sit, right there on the on the couch and then the wheel would be underneath basically just coming out into my legs um and the the, the pedals right underneath my feet it works very very well actually um i was testing it with american truck simulator earlier uh yesterday i i did that but um i was testing it out yesterday with american truck simulator and it worked fantastically. The, the shifter works amazingly. And the shifter is going to stay in uh, hook, hook to my desk. Actually, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you guys where it's hooked in at the moment. Uh, here it is. There it is. And this is where it's going to stay. It's going to stay right here. Uh, Right where it's at, and then when I, whenever I play American American Truck Sim or Euro Truck Sim, basically, uh, my chair is just gonna go right there, uh, and you know, laptop goes right there, and then fuck all. Um, the the problem that I really have with uh, American Truck Sim is that I have to hit F twelve to center. Uh, the the uh, game the headset so you know it's that's a bit of an issue but it's I, I can get over it it's it's just a, a few easy f12 hits so you know whatever um yeah i i'm i'm doing very very well with i racing i feel like i've dipped my toes into a uh, a wonderful community full of people that enjoy racing as much as I do. And let, let me just tell you guys, I don't just enjoy watching racing. I would much rather be a part of the sport than to just sit back and just watch. But, you know, there's so much more than, you know, just turning left in NASCAR as, you know, I pretty much found out firsthand with the controller but it's it's fantastic. I wish I could share this experience with you, but you know it. It's best to just experience it on your own. To be honest, if you have five hundred dollars to just throw away, I would highly recommend the wheel that I have, which is a Logitech G920, um, that includes the shifter. Um, and what I use for eye racing, I just use my gas and brake pedal. Um, and I, I just basically use the, uh, the gear shifter on the wheel for um, gear shifting. I don't, even use, I don't use the clutch at all. The only reason why I have to use the gear changer is I, I don't even know why. I don't know why it's not fully automatic. But you know what? I almost 
kind of prefer it that way. But I, I, I don't know. I like it like this. I really do. I don't, I, I don't know why I like it like this, but it's awesome. I, I feel like, you know, an actual race car driver when I'm, you know, hitting, hitting these, uh, two levers on the side of my freaking um, steering wheel. But, you know, uh, I, I went to go visit my uh, parents today to get rid of some boxes. Uh, and my mom's, my mom's little cat, uh, what was, what's her name? I can't, I can't even remember her name. She nicked me on my hand. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there, there it freaking is. It's been bothering me, uh, like, has it really like ah ah but like stinging me every every so often whenever I like close my hand so I don't I don't know if that's going to affect my uh eye racing tomorrow uh if if it does then we won't play much of it um or do much of it basically we just won't race <laughs> so you know as much as I would love to most likely uh just take a break but you know what uh every, everything is doing good uh i'm figuring out you know all all you know little bits and pieces of the of the puzzle uh i figured out a lot of things uh thanks to some help with some people in a uh discord group or in a discord server that i'm a part of uh so yeah uh, shout out to all the kind people on uh, Grip TV for helping me, um, you know, choose my wheel, setting up, and uh, you know, giving me all these tips and tricks. Well, I wouldn't say tricks, more like just all the tips that I can handle. And I'm pretty much doing this on my own. Um, I, I'm, I mean, all the um, tips and stuff is you know, it's, it's appreciated. I, I really do. And I'm considering each and every little tip, but, uh, you know, I would much rather learn on at my own pace. Uh, you know, I am learning, you know, I, uh, enable to rank up from rookie. I have to do a certain, you know, a certain, uh, car or whatever. I think it's the street stock that I have to do to rank up in a uh, oval and, uh, all these other, places that I've been going to, like the Pickup Cup and uh, the Dallara, uh, or the Dalaria, um, the, the IndyCar one, um, don't affect your uh, safety rating, which I'm just sitting there like, man, all, I keep crashing in all these races and it's affecting my safety rating and I find out it's actually not, which is crazy. So, you know, that, that, that just makes me want to, like, keep doing those to, like, really get used to being with a crowd. And then, you know, whenever I want to do um, street stock, um, then I can do time trials. That seems to help a lot, especially in the, uh, the, 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 um, the, the small trek. Which the uh, I guess with the street suck it uh, there's only two tracks in the entire season, uh, Charlotte Motor Speedway and uh, USA International or whatever the fuck it is, but uh, I don't know. I'm I'm going to uh, I'm going to get some practice in tomorrow on um, on the Charlotte Motor Speedway, so we'll just. You know, we'll, we'll use that. Um, I, I don't entirely know. And then all, all this week, we'll just do like a bunch of practices and uh, <clears throat> basically just get as good as we can. That way, when I eventually go into race and maybe get very serious about the street stock, then um, we'll... Just, you know, we're, we're learning as we go. And I'm learning as I go. And I'm pretty much streaming my entire experience. So throughout um, 
this coming week, we're basically just going to stream my entire experience um, with, with all this stuff. And then um, just depends on what's going on. But, you know, it, iRacing is just a thing that it, it's different for everybody. You know, I'm not going to get it straight off the bat. And I I know this. I've known this since day one, since basically buying this wheel. That I, I know I'm not going to get it day one. I know I'm not going to go out there and be the best fucking driver out there. I know I'm not. And I'm watching all these videos, all these uh, videos explaining, well, you, you need to drive as clean as possible. You need to be as safe as possible. And I, and I know this stuff. I know. I know that I have to drive as safely as possible. Even if it does, even if I do have to drive, uh, you know, as slow as I drive in real life, you know, going uh, 50 to 60 miles an hour down, uh, down Highway 278 or wherever to all the way to Alabama, 60 miles an hour the entire way or, or something like that, or 70 miles an hour down Interstate 20 towards or from Atlanta to wherever, you know, either up north towards Chattanooga or down south towards Florida or west towards wherever. <clears throat> you know, it's. I, I'm treating this as I would um, treat my own car. You know, I'm trying to be as safe as possible. The prob the the real real problem is is that you know I I get the motion, but whenever I you know take my eyes off of the track, that's when things go wrong. So what I need to do is like learn to take some quick glances to like see if is, is somebody next to me? Yeah, yeah, or no. Or, you know, same thing. I need to learn how to take these quick glances because I need to keep my eyes on the track so I know if I'm still in the turn or not. Because what I'm doing is that I'm taking my time looking to see if he's actually there and then <coughs> seeing how, basically just analyzing where this guy is at in variation with me and not paying attention to the turn ending and then I end up spinning out and then taking out somebody else or whatever or somebody doing whatever. I know there's been a few instances where, you know, I personally have been taken out um, unfairly, you know, and I, I keep saying that, you know, I want to be as safe as possible. Well, I, I can't exactly be safe when people keep running into me you know there there ought to be something against that and that seems to not be the case with iRacing, racing which is very punishing because even if you yourself are driving as safely as possible somebody's going to rear end you and give you a plus four on your safety rating which basically means your safety rating is going to go down instead of up even though you're driving as safely as possible, but the dumbass uh, behind you doesn't want to take his foot off the off the accelerator and ends up rear-ending you and taking you out of the race. And then you're in for a ride and you can't fucking hold the escape button down until your car is completely stopped, which is unfair. <clears throat> so... There's a lot of stuff, you know, we, we need to learn or, well, I need to learn. There's a lot of stuff that I need to do to improve. But in order to improve, I need to, you know, know my surrounding and know uh, when to back off, when to get out of somebody's way and basically try to drive with everybody around me in mind, especially when there's somebody behind me who does not want to take his foot off the accelerator even for a fucking second to just analyze what's going on because they see what's going on. They see it as much as I see it, but they don't care 
They're trying to win a race that doesn't even matter. <clears throat> so they're doing whatever. I'm just trying to be as safe as possible. I'm trying to be as safe so when I do get serious, when I do get into a race that affects my safety rating score, I can do that. I can be safe. I know what I'm doing. And all these cars operate very, very differently. And that's what I really, really like about, you know, this whole thing. So, you know, something, something that's going to be very, very fun at the end of the day. And to be honest, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying every little bit of it. So, you know, like I said, tomorrow, I don't know if the tracks are going to change tomorrow. If so, then hell, we'll, we'll just get started straight away. But, uh, you know, tomorrow's most likely just going to be me doing a lot of these practice runs, a lot of these messing around with the, the truck and uh, the Indy car. And maybe another time, uh, time trial. We'll just get as many um, time trials as possibly, or basically as possible. And I don't, I don't know if it is possible. If it is, then it is. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, um, I personally don't think I'm going to get any better in short tracks. Um, I feel like I'm way too slow in short tracks. And, you know, to some people that might be good, you know, because that's just another car to like pass. But for me, I prefer speed or, well, I say that I prefer speed. Slow, you know, being slow offers a lot of perks, but, you know, being the guy behind me, um, and you're, you know, you just want to get around me or you just want to push me out of the way or whatever, then you're just making yourself look like an ass. So, you know, whatever at the end of the day. So, you know, that's, that's all I have to say about that. So other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed, um, this little update, little update ish, um, my parents are doing fine, by the way, uh, in case anybody wanted to know. Um, my, my dog had puppies. So, you know, that's, that's something that's going to be really, really crazy. By the way, if you guys are interested in a puppy, and I'm being dead serious, if you guys are dead on serious about wanting a puppy, and you're within a good drivable distance to the Atlanta area, please leave me a message down below, or yeah, a comment down below, and I'll get into contact with you. I'll, I'll uh, set you up with an email uh, where you'll get to contact uh, my dad, and you have to be dead on serious about it. I won't, I'm not going to, you know, allow anybody to pretend to want to buy a Rottweiler. And I just want to say say it now that prices are going to be pretty darn high i would say a thousand for male and 900 for female um with that being said there's three males and nine males or females excuse me yeah nine females it's a lot we had uh, pretty much even numbered males and females last time or, well, not technically, since one of them uh, unfortunately died. Um, she had 13 last time, but the 13th one, which I think was a male, we didn't really know at the time, had unfortunately died with a, with a heart failure. Um, we just don't know what happened. Um, so we're just, you know, going under the assumption that heart failure. That's what happened. Um, or, you know, just didn't feed for whatever reason. 
Um, and we have, uh, or they have, some goats. Uh, not for sale, though. They, uh, they had a goat that was pregnant that, uh, that gave birth not too long ago. I want to say about a month-ish ago. Uh, and that little, that, that little baby goat's doing okay. Uh, and they thought it was going to die uh, because it wasn't eating anything um, at all. So they were very, very worried that it was going to die of starvation. So <clears throat> eventually it did start eating. Uh, it's, doing, it's doing fine. They're, uh, you know, they were out or, yeah, uh, he was out all day. Um, with the mama so it was very very beautiful day it was a very nice day outside so pretty much spent all day outside with the mama eating grass and you know not you know um being fed from the bottle but i don't know might go another couple of weeks until being officially released so you know whatever um and I don't know if I've said this already, but my youngest brother is having a baby. Uh, I'm going to be an uncle. So I'm pretty freaking excited about that. Um, yeah, I'm not, going to uh, I'm not going to go into full detail as to what my dad is going to be doing in his basement. Um, that's a little private. But, uh, you know, like I said... Things are finally getting done around there. Uh, they, they seem to be very, very happy with everything that's ha uh, pretty much happening. Um, you know, puppies for one. They're getting uh, bathrooms put in for two. Uh, the basement's going to get completely redone. Um, so, um, yeah, I was... Now, I, I, I'm, I, I'm feeling um, pretty good about uh, everything. So, yeah. Other than that, um, I paid for my car payment yesterday, being Friday. Um, and then I got a call today from credit acceptance uh, with, with the automated message. message. Um, I didn't accept their call, by the way. I don't accept, um, you know, robot calls. <clears throat> and I don't listen to robot voice messages either. You're going to send a real person um, to talk to me. <clears throat> if not, then I don't care what you have to say. But, of course, you know, Automated message saying, please call. No, I'm not going to call. I'm not going to call and deal with your robots. You can call as a human and tell me what you want. Because for one, I already paid uh, for the month. I just paid the uh, 450 some odd dollar uh, a month thing for the month. So, yeah, uh, I've already paid it. It's done. It's a done deal. So if, if, you're, if you're calling me because you think I'm late or you want more money, well, you can fucking wait. And if that card is taken, I'm going to file a report against you. Credit acceptance. And I'm leaking. I'm, I'm telling your company name in a video for a reason. Because I'm getting tired of this harassment. I'm getting tired of being harassed by you. I'm putting my foot down. If I get one more fucking call, I'm calling the police and I'm filing a report. Don't call me anymore. I paid your fucking bill. I paid your stupid monthly thing. Quit calling me. Don't you dare threaten to take my car or I'll report. I'll report that too. I paid for that fucking car. That's my car, not yours. Mine. I'm paying for it. Mine. It's under my insurance. Not your insurance. Mine. That's all I have to say about that.
So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button. And if you'd like any of my content, hit that subscribe button. And hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I go live or whenever I make a video. Because I don't go live. I have a Twitch. Follow me on Twitch so you get notifications. And hit the, that bell over there so you get notifications whenever I go live. Which I will. I will go live tomorrow at around 10 a.m. So, you know, that's something to look forward to. And I go live at around 10 a.m. Monday through uh, Monday, Tuesday. Um, and uh, yeah, 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 Monday, Tuesday and Friday and then all weekend long, basically. All right. So. With that being said, again, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.